Hey there folks, I'm Zerfall and welcome back to another one of these cool baby 601 family computer system 545 in one ROM extravaganza. We're going to be playing Robocop 4 today, which of course is totally not a ROM hack. Robocop 4 from 1992 takes your place one year after Robocop 2 presents a production. Robocop with a girl on his shoulder? Now here's what's interesting is that uh, this is probably Robocop 3? <laughs> but they were like, crap, we already have a Robocop 3. Quick, hack the ROM so that it's Robocop 4. Either that or this is a Robocop 3 ROM hack that's supposed to be Robocop 4. Rescue trapped colleagues from the evil cyberpunks. Splatterpunks. They're jerks. Okay, so, I mean, this is back to more of the gameplay from uh, more like Robocop 1 and 2. Uh, we can duck and shoot. We can kind of shoot down on an angle if we get lucky. You have to be walking and then press down. Uh, one difference is, is that we have two weapons. So those guys that are shooting the fancier weapons, uh, we can kill them faster by getting out our missile launcher. No, I need to get this. See, I got, I got the missile launcher. Come on up. I think the missile launcher jams after a little bit. Oh, and there's no, yeah, there's no going backwards again in this one. So I think this actually came out before Robocop versus Terminator, but for some reason it ended up being Robocop 4 in this system. And we need to get those peas. They're actually pretty important. Oh, Robocop only has one jump, eh? You can't. Yeah, we need to make sure we get these pea canisters. They're, um,. They say they increase our efficiency, but you also use them at the end of the level to uh, repair yourself. So they're actually uh, really important. Oh, there's a secret guy in there. Oh, you can duck under, okay. Did I kill him? I guess I did. Uphold the law! Zero. These guys will punch and kick you if they get too close. And I don't think you can punch and kick them back. Okay, I think... Duck. The one problem is, is that you can't turn around when you're ducked. These guys automatically spawn. No, they don't spawn from the way you're looking. Is that guy dead? Good. I don't think he is. I think he's still in that trench can. Yeah. Ah, come on. See, I'm getting, I'm getting destroyed here. And Robocop has really slow turn. Like, you can't turn around when he's standing up. And I don't know that we even triggered the fact that this was supposed to be... Oh, man, we're not... Like, how are you supposed to even... This guy. There we go. <sighs> well done, officer. Prepare to enter repair laboratory. All right, so we've got several places that need to be repaired. Our body's at zero. Our arms are at zero. Our head is at zero. No, our head is at 14. So we'll put 10 into each one of these. 20 there. You know what? I really don't care about our head. All right. Please confirm repairs. A to accept, B to reallocate. I'll accept. Confirmed. Rocket motor factory. Uh, negotiate the perilous obstacles in the old abandoned factory. Make your way to the something. So, oh, see, oh, mm, I should have repaired my head. Uh, head unit malfunction means that every once in a while your controls will just reverse, which sucks for places where they have things like that. When your legs malfunction, they just you just stop walking. They really made it hard to get that done, we're thinking. Uh, there are going to be some ninja bosses in this level, which, I mean, you'll remember from the various Robocop movies that there's lots of ninja bosses. Oh, I think I got him. 
All right, we got our missile upgraded. I'm gonna save that for a little bit because, like I said, I think they constantly get jammed if you use them too much. Actually, this is a ninja boss. Missile jammed! What the heck? I used it once, and now my missile's jammed. Yeah, these guys are a bit of a pain. So I, the way that I found works best is if they get to a certain point of the screen, they turn around. So you shoot them like this, and then you jump past them, and you come over here, and then you start shooting this way, and they'll just they'll leave because it's that's the way they're programmed. Time to leave the screen and be sneaky. So you can get an awful lot of hits off there, and then just get them to leave. You come all the way back here. And just... Boom. I mean, I don't think I'm doing well here. Maybe you're not allowed to use missiles on the boss. That's why it was jammed. But right now we have the ultimate missile weapon. Uh, we've used them all up though, so that's the end of that. We probably should have saved it for only those type of guys, but... Uh, for my first time ever in this game, I'm about to die from going in the acid. Oh, this sucks. So... Oh, this gun sucks! Look how slow it is! You don't want this gun! Oh, it's fast if they're close to you. Okay, well. Weird. And it reshoots whenever the, the main one reshoots. This, this gun's no good. Like, how... How was I gonna fight that? You you don't wanna you don't wanna upgrade that gun. Then game over. Oh, we got a high score. Oh, what? Oh, I had to push right. All right, so there are continues in this game. I don't know how many continues you get, but they they bring it back here. And if you see it, my efficiency is already only at seventy three percent. It it does. Um save what damage happened to you and whatnot. So it is just like retrying. Like I don't The trick to that guy, see? You just you just don't find him. There was a guy in that uh tire stack there. Trick to this guy? You kill him from off screen. You take so much damage from the acid in this, though. Alright, so like I said, this time we're gonna be a little bit more careful about making sure he just leaves. Oh, he didn't just leave! Okay. So I guess there is a little bit to be said about having to move him far enough along. Maybe it's timed into when he leaves. Body unit is indeed damaged. Yeah, and you're not allowed to use missiles on him because it'd be too easy. Despite the fact that they're the ones that uh, orchestrated this whole missile crisis. I wish I could shoot straight up. Robocop's uh, shoulder actuator doesn't have that sort of motion. Now I can leave. We only had 6% life now. I can run this stuff. I don't know. I I think I'm still most impressed with the Robocop 3 of this game, which is the versus Terminator uh, one. I feel like it's too easy to get damaged in this. Uh, the malfunctions, while being slightly amusing, are uh, a big pain in your butt. I didn't mean to pick that up. I forgot how crappy it was. I mean, I guess it's not crappy if you pay a bit of attention. Like, I could hit this guy now a little easier. Like, I can hit them before, but but like these guys, oh, maybe he's doing more damage too. Okay, you just ignore him. So can you make this jump? No. Like, this is the thing. It's like, how was I supposed to make that jump? I have no idea. I guess I can shoot straight up with this gun. That's got one thing going for it. 
Can I get back up there? Head unit malfunction. Thanks. Am I supposed to protect the innocent with a head unit malfunctioning? Okay, and then like these guys down here. If they were willing to show their head. Like, this is the thing. Ah, see, I'll do this. Show up, buddy. This guy just never showed up. Prayer item obtained. I mean, I guess we gotta go here and then... Jump and then jump and then jump. Okay, okay. Alright, we're only mostly dead. See, I should be able to shoot straight down if I get my gun angle going here. Like, I don't, I don't understand. I'm pressing right, I'm pressing down. I'm pressing right and down. It's like, you have to press them all at the same time to get this to... Oh, my head unit malfunctioned again. Just shoot down, you stupid jerk. Holy cow. Alright. This is going to be a similar thing. Another ninja boy. Oh man, my shooting is way slower too now for some reason. You gotta, you gotta just get him in the circle pattern. Oh, my gun degrade, downgraded. I mean, maybe that's a good thing, but... Oh, no, he chopped me. Game over. Man. No high score. Anyways, that's RoboCop 4. Um, not the best game in town, but uh, it's definitely an improvement on 2. But I think Robocop vs. Terminator, if you're looking for a Robocop game, is probably the best one to play on the NES. I could be wrong, there could be two one. I mean, I did get the highest score ever in this game, so I got that going for me. Anyways, I'm Zerfall. Thanks for watching, and next time we're going to be playing Chippendale's Rescue Rangers. See you then!